A baby elephant got severe injuries in the mouth after being a victim from horrific mouth bomb or explosive bait hidden inside the food. His lower jaw has been shattered due to the explosion. Usually when elephants get injured or maimed, they are unable to keep up with the herd and end up being behind the herd. Unfortunately, this tragic fate has befallen the particular elephant in this case as well. He is unable intake foods due to the injury in mouth. However, this intelligent animal intrinsically came to the vicinity of humans as if he is asking for help. A villager found this baby elephant wandering in this courtyard in the morning. He was surprised and checked what's wrong with this baby elephant. He saw the shattered jaw of this baby elephant. Without any delay, he informed the nearest center of Department of Wildlife. In the meantime, the villager took immediate action to secure the baby elephant's light with a rope until the help arrived. The villager was deeply regret with this miserable baby elephant. With great sympathy, he supplied its favorite food such as young coconut fronds, etc. to the elephant. He was fanning the elephant with small tree branch to comfort the elephant. Meanwhile, the wildlife officers arrived the location. Another villager offered some water to the elephant, but sadly the elephant couldn't intake water properly too. The water it tried to intake through its trunk simply spilled onto the ground as the lower jaw is impaired. The skillful veterinarian is observing the condition of the baby elephant. Still, they cannot get closer to the elephant without sedating the elephant, because although this is a baby elephant, the behavior of a wild elephant cannot be predicted, especially when he is in pain. The poor elephant's face depicts the huge pain that he is enduring. The sympathetic villagers are consoling the baby elephant. The guy with yellow shirt is the person who found the elephant first and carrying the elephant until the wildlife officers arrive. He is stroking the elephant, talking to him softly with great affection. His empathy towards this elephant is really appreciated. Because of his attention, the wildlife officers got to know about this tougher-ing elephant. Meanwhile, the veterinary surgeon and the wildlife officers are preparing the medicines needed to treat the elephant, considering the size and age of elephant. The dedication of the veterinary surgeon and these wildlife officers are immense. They are performing their duties despite all the hardship. It was raining at the moment, but they didn't give up and proceed their duty. They started cleaning the injured mouth with spraying saline solution with syringe. After that, povidone iodine solution mixed with saline applied in the injured area with the help of the syringe. Antibiotics administered intramuscularly 
to inhibit the growth of bacteria on the wand and prevent the further spread of infection to the inner body parts. Anti-inflammatory drugs and painkillers were also administered to alleviate the pain of the baby elephant. The baby elephant is in weak condition. The veterinary surgeon advised the team that the elephant shouldn't be kept in decumbency for a long time because of his weakened body condition. Therefore, they decided to inject the revival drug to the elephant without delay. The revival drug is injected to the ear vein of the elephant. After administering the antidote the elephant, rest part of the treatment resumed. The injured mouth was sprayed with antiseptic fly repellent spray. They finished the initial treatments. Jaw exploders are set by evil farmers to protect their crops from wild boars and other animals. They are made by concealing an improvised explosive device in fruits or fodder, which detonates when bitten. Unfortunately, not only wild boars but even the elephants, especially the younger ones get victimized by these evil explosions as they are clumsier and would eat anything that looks interesting and is within their reach. The elephant is unable to intake food with the impaired mouth. If he is released again to the forest, he will die with starvation. Therefore, the officials decided to take the elephant to a rehabilitation center. There, the elephant will receive regular soling treatment and antibiotics in routine manner until the infection is completely healed. The dedicated staff at the rehabilitation center will provide nursing care, essential nutrition, and necessary medication for the elephant's recovery.